I'm Dave Buchanan, and I am the co-owner of Jacksonopolis. Jackson has a long history of media. First, it started out with radio stations and TV stations, and it has been interesting to see how those have changed over time. So Jackson's media industry kind of has two different kind of unique aspects to it. There's the traditional media, so there's the radio and the newspapers and the TV stations. There's another form, um, kind of this um, web-based media. So some there's some website companies that are out there and they kind of produce content here and there. Um, a lot of it is text-based. And we're kind of, with Jacksonopolis, joining into that group, but bridging the gap between the two. So we're doing some more traditional style things along with some of the new media and web-based digital media that's out there. When we launched Jacksonopolis, they, uh, they didn't really know what we were doing. They knew that we could do some interesting things, but they didn't really know what we had, had planned. So we came in and we really focused on providing quality content that wasn't just mass market. So we produced not a ton of content, but we did it very high quality. We kind of raised the bar for what is expected in a media company in Jackson. So from the beginning, we knew Jacksonopolis was going to grow to more than what we could handle. So when I planned this with Jay Cordova and a few other people that were in the planning committee for Jacksonopolis, it took us a couple of years to kind of come up with an idea for what we wanted it to be. And some of those people kind of dropped off, some of those people came back on, and we really kind of rolled forward to what we wanted Jacksonopolis to become. And it really was about engaging the community and creating leaders from within. So we found a few good people um, to manage some of our communities. So we have a great photography manager, a videography manager, a writing manager, a social events manager, and a lot of different people who kind of help out on a day-to-day basis to keep Jacksonopolis running. Really, when we started Jacksonopolis, we envisioned it to be kind of an engine for growth in the local economy. We wanted to not only make money for Jacksonopolis, but take the money that we have made and pay the content producers that contribute to Jacksonopolis. Jacksonopolis is in an interesting position where the local economy kind of benefits from the work that we do. So when we produce an article or when we make a video or take a, a photo gallery of a specific event or kind of uh, movement that's going on in the community, all of that goes towards them. The future of Jacksonopolis really has yet to be determined. We really had a strong idea of what we wanted it to be in the first year. We wanted it to be established, we wanted it to be accepted by the community, and we wanted to produce good content. And I think we've done that. So we've started a video production studio. We've started a recording studio, an audio recording studio. We've started a photography studio. We've started all of these separate things that kind of go along with what we're producing, but are not necessarily related with Jacksonopolis. So when we started the platform network, we kind of branched it out into content that not necessarily fit into what Jacksonopolis represented. We wanted to create things that were different. 